waiting for the green lights here. We have got green lights. Godfrey then got a terrible first phase, but his second phase is incredible. Contact between Toehill and O'Donovan down in towards turn number one. And while Toehill has hung on to the car, and that could have been oh so nasty. It could have been oh so championship over. It isn't. They're still going the same way. Love that. O'Donovan, though, well, there is definitely no punches held back there for sure. Through the devil's elbow, they will come. Up the hill, they will come. And Toehill is right up in behind. O'Donovan, O'Donovan goes defensive here. Takes a very acute angle up the top of the hill. Down they come. Who's going to be the brave under breaking? Down in towards those final couple of corners. And I'd be very surprised now if Toehill doesn't decide to come through that joker. Around the final corner they come, through the chicane here. Nice and opened up there by Toehill. Toehill, maybe with a little bit of a momentum shift here. As they then come down in towards the final, well, sorry, into turn number one. And it is indeed going to be a joker then for Toehill. Toehill has finished second twice today. Is into the joker and actually he's going to come out behind Godfrey. So Godfrey then, who's joking on lap number one, is going to indeed take up position three in the race and potentially the race lead. Toehill was right behind uh, O'Donovan in terms of the race when he came into the Joker. So watch out for Godfrey. Godfrey may have track position. He's also got a gap to work with in th front here. He's got clear air over the top of Harry Hill. Down the hill they come once again on lap number two. And wow, will O'Donovan have to try and cover them off straight away here? Be interesting to see. Across the start finish line, our race leader does indeed come. And did he come into the Joker here? Oh, he has. O'Donovan's into the Joker and watch out for the merge here in semi-final number two. Who's going to be in the lead? I think Godfrey's got him. Godfrey's got him. So is Toehill. O'Donovan down to P3. Toehill is ahead of the championship leader. This is huge. This has huge ramifications for the championship here. Can Toehill hang on? Godfrey, though, had a terrible qualifying number two, but ultimately... Oh, no, it's gone wrong. His car's slow. Up towards Terry Hill into the apex. Now they're going to come back down, and Godfrey's car's slow. The race lead now goes back to Toehill. And he's just got to try and get across the line as Godfrey. The day is going from bad to worse. So, so unfortunate. We head on to lap number four. And it is Toehill then, via the Joker, getting back up into the lead. It was so close into turn number one, in lap number one. But the roles have been reversed. Toehill, who did start pole, has got back up into the lead. O'Donovan then will want to try and extend that championship lead by getting ahead. But Toehill doing a superb job. Through the devil's elbow they come. They've got one and a half laps to go here. Toehill needs to just hang on. On the power nice and early. Open up the top of the circuit here the best you can. O'Donovan looks like he's the one under pressure. And actually Toehill runs a little bit wide there. We'll be able to carry a little bit more speed though through the exit down in towards the final complex of corners before we start the final lap here. Two completely different lines taken then by our race leaders here. Toehill taking a wide entrance and indeed taking a tight exit. And then we've got on the opposite side there, a tight entrance and a wide exit for Toehill. Through turn number one they come, and Toehill is indeed still in the lead here. Remember, there was contact into turn one between him and O'Donovan. Toehill came off worse there, he managed to keep the car in a straight line, and via the Joker, he has had some serious pace here, has jumped O'Donovan, but more importantly, this is going to close the championship lead. Over the top of the hill we come, only the matter of three corners to go here, through the sweeping right hand over the bottom hand of the circuit, it, up towards the finish line here, via the chicane, and Toehill does take victory in semi-final number two. O'Donovan will take P2. Congratulations to him. Vitoles, who's had all sorts of gremlins this weekend, ultimately is going to book his place into the final. Congratulations to him. And Seller takes P4. It's not been a good day for Godfrey. Q2 could not have gone any worse, really. But unfortunately, it has got worse in semi-final number two. He is down in fifth position. What a race. This is only the semi-finals, ladies and gentlemen. The final is going to be an absolute cracker.